Married for a Day is the third episode of the second season of the Doris Day Show. And what I've realised is that I think the restaurant is going to become a pretty permanent fixture. The restaurant featured certainly in the second episode. And it was also at the very start and the very end of this episode. So I think that might actually become quite a prominent set. Which means that I'm probably always just going to be left feeling hungry. This episode is is pretty good fun and I think really unpredictable as well with the narrative. My only complaint is that we didn't really get much of Toby and Billy. They were in it very briefly, but I feel like this is the direction the show is going to be taking. I've also decided that Leroy is no longer in going forward. I'm not sure, still not sure if that's 100% correct, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. In this episode, Doris has bought third a restaurant and... Doris's boss happens to see his ex-wife there and he's convinced that he's come back to she's come back to California to try and get back with him and he doesn't want to do this but he's also a bit weak when it comes to her power over him so he and Doris decide to go back to Doris's house and kind of hide out there so she can't find him but obviously she finds him I won't say exactly how and in order to prevent her from you know manipulating him whether or not she would intentionally manipulate him is up to for debate but certainly there are parts of her that seems to have some control over him still so to get round this on the spur of the moment he pretends that he and Doris are married and needless to say Doris is kind of like what on earth are you doing but she goes along with it will they be able to keep up the pretense for the entire episode it is not predictable. I did not see certain things coming. I found it to be very delightful. I really enjoyed watching Doris and Mr Nicholson having this different kind of relationship because while he's her boss, he needs something from her and it kind of puts them on a level playing field. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I think it's great. Doris's reaction was brilliant. Doris's performance when she ate the lobster salad was so brilliant it was so brief but I really liked it a lot um Buck is in it quite a bit actually which I, I was really really pleased about and the fact that it's set primarily in Doris's home was something that I really appreciated as I feel like this second season just based on these few episodes is going to have a lot more time away from the home despite the fact that it's in the house yeah we don't get that much of Toby and Billy which is a shame but they're in that a little bit. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Uh, Julie Adams plays Karen. I didn't really like the character, but I feel like that really helped to buy into this narrative of the husband wanting to make up this elaborate lie in order to avoid uh, her trying to, um, well, get him back, basically. A really good episode. Uh, very entertaining. Not one of my all-time favourites. I feel like season two still feels so different to season one. Even the house design is different, which gives it just a different feel. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still kind of learning to cope with these changes and, and you know, lamenting for things beyond. But still hopeful. Still enjoying it. Doris Martin is still a brilliant character. And let's face it, if it's Doris Day on my screen, I'm going to absolutely love it. Married for a day. Not a bad episode at all.